Greetings and salutations, everybody, and welcome back to Jolly Oaks Farm here in Stardew Valley. It is the 25th of winter, year one. We are getting extremely close to the end of this year. And in this episode, my plan is to do just that, complete this year. It'll be a beautiful sunny day tomorrow. Tell her they're displeased today. We're not going to have a lot of... Oh, I just did it again. <laughs> uh... We're not going to have a lot of good luck today, so we're going to want to plan for today. So, let's go ahead and get some chores done on the farm real quick. See what things are going on, because it has been a little bit since I've been able to record. And we'll make a plan for what we want to accomplish. Alright, I completely forgot that it is the Feast of the Winter Star. So, I need to... First off, I'm going to ship blueberry. I also got a harvest of blueberries, so I will have to go ahead and deal with those when we come back. And I also need to attempt to remember <laughs> who my person was for Feast of the Winter Star. I want to say it was Shane, but my memory is not working with me and I really should have written this one down. Is there anything special to buy at this one? Just decorative, decorative stuff. Okay. Ah, oh, cheese thing. Hopefully that's a good response. Oh, we had Gus. That's cool. Hey, Ray, I'm your secret gift giver this year. Here, open it. What we got? Poppy seed muffin. Seems like a very... Gus thing to give. It's not much, but I hope you like it. If you made it, Gus, I'm happy with it. All right. Things all good. All chipper. Nothing else really we, that we need to do. All in town. Yeah, I think we're good. So let's go ahead and head back to the farm. I want to get some more blueberry wine started. So I'm okay if it ends. And yeah, just as I thought. All plum jelly. So those. We can start more jelly. Okay. And then let's head over to the shed real quick to drop some more blueberries into the kegs just so we can keep some source of money coming in All the kegs are going now. I think it's good for us to... Man, the amount of rusty spurs I've gotten. I didn't even check in. I did check in here, but... Not... Big... I should probably grab some more... Um... Fruit trees. And check my cave up here. It's a salmon bear. All right. Yeah, I think it's about time to get some more fruit trees. So, it is almost time for bed. Let's pause this real quick. Community center wise, we just need the red cabbage, which is summer. Um, the fiddlehead fern, I believe, is summer as well. Truffle, we should be able to hopefully get in spring. 
And that's it for that. We should make some more crystallariums. Which means I need to up battery and iridium in our production. 10,000 gold isn't bad for some wine. I'll take that. It's most likely better than dealing with um, just selling straight blueberries. How's our luck for today? A little extra luck. Okay, so we should be better today. And we got a bunch of forgeables to pick. So let's grab those up real quick. And I'm going to set myself up to be able to head to the Skull Caverns today. Dear Ray, I want to make a fish stew, but I need an albacore. I know they're almost out of season. Sorry about the short notice. Could you catch one for me? Gus. You know what, Gus? I can probably do that for you. Uh, just a little bit later, we are leaving the uh, farm now. I think I'm going to head down to the uh, ocean over by where Willie is just to try to catch an albacore real quick for Gus as he sent a request for it. And it's almost out of season, so we're definitely going to want to do that real quick. Try not to get caught by Linus or Linus. I think, is it Linus? I don't remember the kid's name. Vincent. Vincent. I have peanuts in my head. Too much holidays going on right now. All right. Um. Awkward. All right. Let's see if we can fish up a... Fish up an albacore. Sorry. Distracted. So no albacore, but we do have a train passing through Stardew Valley. That's the signal of the horn. I want to head over to, because we can get the albacore still for the next two days. So I want to go ahead and head over to the traveling cart real quick and see what they have. Because that could be potentially good. It could be absolutely useless too, but I mean, it could potentially be good. I mean, nothing really good. Nothing I don't have or all, or nothing I need and that I don't already have or have a need for. Okay, well, I'm going to try to head up to the Adventuring Guild. Pick up some explosive ammo and we'll see how deep we can get in the mines today still. I did not come prepared. Oh, I did not come prepared. I need to adjust things because I... The way I have my new my new mic stand, my mic arm, is that it was completely blocking my view of the health bar, and that almost ended extremely bad for me. Oh man! All right, let's head back to St to Stardew Valley, um, instead of Calico Desert, and we'll do some safe fishing. We'll see if we can still catch that Alpcore. Um, did a lot better with, uh, <laughs> with, uh, the, the, the slingshot, but took a little bit of, uh, damage for the sake of doing it. So, let's go stop by Gus, pick up some food so we can heal up a little bit. So, we've been pretty productive today. We got the Albacore. We almost died in the Skull Cavern. So, maybe not as productive there. And then, we just need to give that Albacore to Gus. It's getting a little late. But, I also want to attempt to get this Death Sprite Challenge 
out of the way. Hopefully we can do that real quick. All right, gotta get back to the homestead where we can lay down for the night with only two days, full days left of winter. I don't know why I couldn't grab that jade there for a minute. That was uh, embarrassing. Achievement. Level 10. Uh, then that officially, that achievement that just popped meant that we hit level 10 in every skill. Um, Let's do Lumberjack. <clears throat> Perfect. Okay. Oh. Let's peek. Two inches of snow tomorrow. It's gonna be difficult today. Maybe we still attempt to do the skull cavern. Now that I have actual food on me. But let's uh Offload our inventory real quick. I can't even drop anything or pick anything up. And then we'll handle everything. Okay, so all the chores now are done. Let's run over to Clint to crack open our artifact troves. Didn't sound like that was good dings on those, so... Probably got artifacts that we've already turned in. I don't know how many we're at. We have the bear statue, so we've got we've got to be getting close. Oh, we have not done that. Need to still do the chicken statue. The shell. I want to see how many we have real quick because I feel like we've got to be getting close. Like, I don't care if I waste time doing this real quick. I only need three more. I have 57 out of 60 and I know you need 60 to be able to get the key to, to see Crovis. All right. I will. We still have some time before. Prehistoric rib. Can that be donated here? All right, well, 58. Two more items. Two more items and we'll be able to get the key to see Crovis. I don't know why I went all the way back here when I was just wanting to go over to Gus because he should be opening very very soon what is Albacore that he requested so politely a few seconds later Gus is on his way and we can go ahead and Taken care of. I might escape patrol. Have the two days left. We only gotta kill three. Yes, please. Let's go take care of this, and then as soon as that's completed, I will go ahead and warp directly to the desert, to the mines, to defeat just three dust sprites. Got it. That was easy. Six thousand gold for just killing those. Man. All right, we're just gonna take this ladder real quick just to take this. Actually, what am I doing? Let's warp out from the cold depths of the of the mine to the warm, scolding desert. This is where 
at all of these spots because you never know. Just never know if it's going to be an artifact that I need. All right, into the skull cavern to hopefully try to get close to floor 100. I don't know if I'm going to be able to it's from this time. No way. I forgot that was even in a possible drop from the mines. Oh my God. What are the odds of that? 11, 11. Ooh, need to eat. Doing really well on this one, but uh, there's no way I can hit the floor level amount that I need to. Wow, that is incredibly lucky, guys. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna try to put that in the clip, but I can show you guys here in a second as soon as we get back to Stardew Valley. I just got an incredible drop from one of the serpents in the Skull Cavern. And I completely forgot that this was even a possibility of getting dropped. And that's the point that we just got, where is it? The red cabbage seed. We totally just got the red cabbage seed. Oh my gosh, it's awesome. Okay, so I'm gonna try to plant this real quick, I guess. Um... I mean, it's already a water plot. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. We're gonna be able to get that in spring now. Which is extra lucky for us. The issue is still gonna be like the fiddlehead fern and we might just have to try to find that at the traveling cart. All right, let's a little extra luck today. Cranberry candy. It's snowing, snowing good. Thanks for helping me clear those monsters. I'm not scared at all, but it should make the mine safer for everyone else, right? Take the blueprint. Hope it doesn't make me obsolete. Clint the blacksmith. Geo crusher. Okay. Very cool. I know we just got the recipe for the geo crusher, but I'm going to go see Clint because Clint is right next door to the, um, to the museum. So the goal for today, I'm really hoping with all the geodes in my inventory, hopefully we can get to the last two items we need to be able to get the key to enter the sewer. Let's go see. I, I've, I've got to have at least two items in my inventory that I have not donated yet. Oh yeah. There we go. Awesome. I don't see him in here, but we're gonna, I mean, we might as well keep going while we have the inventory space. Everything we have in our inventory has already been donated. So let's run back to the farm and sell all of those because do you really need all of these? Am I going to regret this in the future? That that's possible, but I, I don't know. We can worry. Future Raymond can worry about that now or worry about that later. All right. How do I want to spend the rest of this time? 
Do I want to... I did say I wanted to expand my fields down more. So... Takes another nine. Be cool to expand four more times. 36? 36, 36 more sprinklers? Or if we can make iridium sprinklers. Okay, so that took a little bit of time. But we ended up getting a large chunk of field down here for iridium sprinklers and then a, another large chunk for quality sprinklers down so we can start making some decent money and as we eventually get more iridium we'll swap it out for sprinklers because i feel like iridium is definitely going to do the job better um but with that done I really don't think there is anything left for me to do now. Um, ah, let's say winter has come and gone. Now it's time to say our one final goodbye to year one. We've done a lot in year one. We've gotten our keg operation. We've reached 10 in all of our skills. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's crazy really how much we have processed and we have our red cabbage planted. So we've only got three things left in the community center for year two. And with that, guys, next time on Stardew Valley Road to Perfection, we tackle beginning of spring year two let me know let me know guys i'm thinking about taking spring and putting it in a two-part video and just splitting spring in half um the next bit of this series is going to be very grindy it's going to be very tedious of doing the exact same things every single day and i don't want you guys to grow bored of these like four day episodes like nine ten minutes every single week but if you guys enjoy that format definitely let me know um i'm willing to cater that a little bit to you guys it would help me on time um but i want to produce a decent chunk video with enough content for you guys to be able to enjoy so let me know what you guys think in the comments down below make sure to slap that like button if you guys enjoyed it and subscribe for future content Thank you guys so much for being patient with me. I will see you guys in the next episode of Stardew Valley Road to Perfection. Take care.